Hello there, crafters, stampers, card makers. It's Jackie Ballheis from Clump and Stampers. Today, I have some quick and easy note cards to show you how to make. They're perfect for those of you that are brand new to card making, beginners. I have lots of tips, but also they're great for those of you that just like quick and easy cards because these are adorable and they're quick and easy. And that's what it's all about in my book. So let's dive right in. Let's flip the camera down and let's get stamping. Now, like I said, these cards are perfect for the brand new card maker, but those of you that have been stamping for a while, I'm sure you'll love them too, and I've got tips for you. Inked and Tiled is a stamp set that was new in the 2023 annual catalog, and it might be my very favorite. You know, every time I just keep gravita gravitating to a favorite, and I think this catalog, that's it. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna start out by showing you how to make a really simple note card just using the SIP method of stamping. And what SIP means is stamps, ink, and paper. S-I-P, stamps, ink, and paper. That's really all you need to make cards. And that's where I recommend starting if you are a brand new card maker. It'll take the overwhelm away and you'll be able to be successful making cards. Now, I am using the vanilla note cards and envelopes from Stampin' Up. I love these because they come in a pack of 20. You get the note card. It's already scored. You saw I folded it in half plus the envelope. And then all you need is your stamps and ink, and you're ready to go. So this card, I'm going to actually make two different ones for you, and I'm going to show you how to take it from that simple sip card to actually stepping it up, okay? So I like to open it when I stamp it because it lays a little bit flatter. And we're using Crushed Curry. Now the beauty of these stamps is you could use any color you want. Now we're gonna go ahead and stamp that. And then we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna stamp it again, kind of off to the right a little bit and down because that just adds some dimension. Now we will go ahead and ink it again, stamp on scrap paper this time and we're gonna go a little bit to the left. So I've got three images in here, but we've got some varying color. Then we're gonna go ahead and take one of the words. You know, what I like about this stamp set, especially for those of you that are newer, is you got some great words. Hello, friend, can be for anything. Just a note, we've got thank you, congratulations, happy birthday. Pretty much anything you might need a card for, you can make it with this one stamp set. So we're gonna just go ahead, use pecan pie and stamp hello friend. That's it. What a great, cute little note card. Now you also want to always stamp the inside. So we're gonna go ahead and stamp a couple flowers on the inside. And then I have this little thing about naked envelopes. We don't wanna send any naked envelopes through the mail. So we'll stamp our envelope as well. And look at that, how easy peasy it is to make a note card. Now, I'm gonna make one other one just using a note card for you. And then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to step up these by adding just a few layers and a punch. Um, same basic design, we're just gonna up it a little bit. Now for this one, we're using Pool Party and we're gonna do the same basic design. We've stamped it once, we'll stamp it again and then we're gonna stamp it on scrap paper and stamp it another time. So we're just adding some leaves on there. And then we'll use pecan pie again, same color. So I'm trying to do these without a whole lot of ink pads, just to show you how you don't need many supplies. And there we go. Just a nice, quick and easy, simple thank you card. We'll do the same thing on the inside. We'll stamp one leaf and bring it in there again. And of course, don't forget the envelope. Now, like I said, we're starting really simple because I want you to just see how stamps ink and paper, that's all we used to make these first two cards. Let's bring in the other one. Oh, fumble fingers going on here. So just like that, very few supplies, you've got some nice note cards. Now, what I like to do is show you how to take this up just a little step further. So this time, we're still gonna use a note card. Let's see, I got a couple more of them here. Let's fold it in half. I'm just using my bone folder to get nice crisp edges in there. 
and I have a layer of very vanilla. Now, all of these measurements and colors and everything I'm using will be on the blog post. I always do a corresponding blog post to each project. You'll find the link in the video description, and you can just hop over there and get all the card measurements and supply list of everything. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and stamp basically the same thing. One in the middle, over to the right without re-inking, stamp it on scrap paper, and do one over to the left. Looks the same, right? We're just on a layer here. Let's get the same stamp even. And we'll go ahead and stamp, hello friend. Okay, so this looks a lot like how we started before. Okay, so we're just gonna layer that onto pecan pie, like so. And then we can take our note card, same note card that we stamped directly on, and we're going to add our layered piece on there. So just by adding those couple of layers, you can see how it steps up our card. Not that it was any harder, just took a little bit more cardstock, um, but it really does change it. Easy peasy. Now, just for fun, we're going to go ahead and step this up just a little bit more because there is a set of coordinating punches that you can get that was designed specifically for the stamp set. However, I think these are gonna be great for all different things. And instead of stamping our words, um, hello friend, on our card, I'm gonna actually stamp it on a piece of scrap paper, just another piece of that very vanilla that we use for the layer and we'll use this punch to punch it out. And then, let's just go ahead, we're gonna go right on top of this one. I can take some dimensionals, just to add a little bit more dimension. And we'll cover up where we stamped, hello friend, by the punch. But look at how that just steps it up a little bit. Here's another one. So you can see by just adding that punch piece, it completely changes our card. So there's our three different versions of that one. Now, I don't wanna bore you by stamping the same old thing over and over. So I did make three versions of this one as well. So you can see here, we just went ahead and added those same layers. And then I did the same thing. I added the thank you with that punch piece just to show how it adds a lot to the card. So easy peasy, they're all SIP cards. Well, we'll call this a SIP plus a punch. So all we did was use stamp, sink, and paper, stamp, sink, and paper, and a little bit more paper, and then stamp, sink, paper, and the, um, the punch. And I did also on this one, I just noticed, pop this piece up on dimensionals. So even the whole layer, they're underneath the pecan pie, brings it up a little bit. So it's just making some quick and easy cards. I guess here's my original there too. You can see how it's popped up. So I hope you enjoyed this project, but most of all, I hope you realize that you don't need a lot of products. Stamps, ink, and paper is all you need to make beautiful cards. And it's a great place to start, especially if you're a beginner stamper, beginner card maker. Start simple so that you're not overwhelmed. I know you can look at all the products out there, flip through the Stampin' Up! catalog, and you just don't know where to begin. So hopefully this helps you decide a little bit where to begin. Pick out stamp, sink, and paper, and you'll be making cards in no time. So thanks for watching, and I look forward to stamping with you again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.